時は満ちた聞こえるか知れ知れ知れ知れ知れ知れ聞こえている力を温存すべき時が終わったまずは孫悟空を潰しておけ雑魚は無視してもいい分かったあとは頼んだぞ Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Jaren the Ock, Jaren the Brolic, Jaren the Muscle Bound, Jaren the Motherfucking Gray. He's just, you know, he's just. Strong for no reason. With that said, let's get into the review. As usual, we're g o n n a start with sculpt, artic- sculpt and articulation and paint. Now, first things first, this guy doesn't have a whole lot of paint on him. And you know, if you watch any of my videos thus far, you know, I love my paint. But I will say for this guy, it's not too bad because where the paint is, it's effective. So, let's, for example, his head、it、has a very, it has a matte finish, but the simple paint job on his head works. Like that、uh, very pale gray. And it's, I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but it's almost like it's a, a subtle shading there. I think it might be the lighting, to be honest. But the paint that is there, the paint that is there is effective. Now, I wish the whole thing was painted. You know, I'm always going to harp on the paint because I think paint. Brings out the sculpt, and I think these figures have great sculpts to them.、Um, especially for a character like Jiren, who's very muscle bound, who's very、uh, brolic, <laughs> as some New Yorkers would say. I think, I think it would work great for him.、Um, couple of minor complaints at first. So the first thing is the black. Looks almost like a, a really dark gray or a faded black. I'm not sure if it's just my figure or what, but I would like a more solid black. Now, and、uh, of course, it's red molded plastic. I would like the red to be a bit more saturated. But other than that, the figure looks great. It looks <laughs> another character that looks like they pilled right off the screen. Now, one thing I will say is. It seems like Tamashi Nations, they could get the non Saiyan characters pretty on point for the most part. Like when it comes to the faces and the likeness, and, when it, when it, and it's non Saiyan characters, oh man, they knock it out of the park. When it comes to the Saiyan characters, they do good to, to great. I think with、uh, the Gohan, the adult Gohan that's going to come out in like September, and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I think that's going to change with those two figures in terms of Saiyans. Likeness to the show, but up until now, I may, yes,、yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, too. That had a great, good likeness to the show, but this is they finally getting into the groove of having the Saiyan characters really look like the show. Um, you know what? Maybe it's just the Goku characters because not a more I think about it, like Broly, he looks on point. Maybe it's just Goku and Vegeta that really need the most work in terms of getting the likeness together, but they're getting that together anyway. so Without further ado,、um, articulation. Now, as usual, start with the head. You can look up about that far. No, he's he real muscle bound, so. <laughs> look at that chest sticking out. Chest sticking out way out there. But, I'm not talking about the chest,、I'm、talking about the head. You can look up about that far. He'll look down. Yeah, he could put his ch- chin to his chest. He could turn it. He could swivel his head. Look off to the side. Look heroic and shit.、Uh, give you attitude if you want. To, Jaren to give you attitude. I don't think he will give him. I don't think he'll be giving much attitude, but it is there if you want it. Now,、uh, we're going to go to the arms. That butterfly joint. Woo! Works perfectly. And for a character this big and muscle bound, 
you're going to need a, a joint like that. So he could bring his arms forward like that. Because, you know, it allows for more dynamic posing. Uh, you can bring his arms back, not as much, because the back muscles get in the way. It's not, there's only so much they could do about that without, you know, really interfering with the sculpt. And you want a healthy balance of sculpt and, you know, articulation. Now, um, for his arms, swivel. Wait, swivel at the shoulder. It's a little stiff, a little stiff, but it is there. A little stiff. Double jointed elbow. You get a decent amount of range, but you got to remember, like I said, has a lot of muscles. So the muscle sculpt is going to be in the way a little bit. Um, Our ab articulation. Not too bad. He leans way back. They oh they got that leaning back thing on point. They got it on point, man. My man would be a beast at Lumbo. But Yeah, leaning forward, not the best, to be honest. But leaning back, he could do it. Fat Joe would be proud. Um in terms of hips, he gives you very good splits. And a swivel, if you want it, if you need it. Double jointed knee. Ankle rocker. And a toe hinge, if you need it. I find it hard to use the toe hinge joint, so I'm always kind of iffy about it. But what else? Oh, yeah. Swivel. Swivel at the wrist and hinge. Uh... Ankle hinge as well. It go, it could go down pretty far. I can't go up that far because the sculpt right here on the boot. But in all, articulation is on point. I think it's a, it's a good amount of articulation, especially for a guy this uh, muscular. Now, we'll move on. Wait, one last thing. The height. I always forget the height. He stands. Wow, he's actually a little bit taller than I thought. Uh, about six and a half inches. So he's a pretty tall dude. Um, I'll, I'll I'll show some scale at the end of the video with some pictures. But without further ado, let's move on to accessories. And now we shall move on to accessories. He comes with his. Arms cross accessory, I, like an energy effect that goes over his glowy fist. Well, I guess you could use it with the regular fists too. He comes with some open palm hands, some hands for karate chopping old men. One grabby hand and another grabby hand that has the Super Saiyan Blue hair, hair part. So if you have uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku figure, you can attach that to his, uh, his head and ha make it look like Jaren is holding him up by his hair. Now for the heads, um, he comes with one yelling face, one glaring face, you know, that's for, he could just look at you and beat your ass. And one gritting teeth face. And he also has the neutral head that comes on him and the packaging. And he ha of course he has his two regular fist hands too. And all I would say that June is a it's a great release. Like the except with the you know, little couple gripes that I had with the, the paint. I'm always gonna talk about paint. It's always gonna be a big deal for me. I understand that some people worry about scratching over time, but I think the scratching will be minimal unless you're just thrashing around your figures like a child. And in that case, then that's when, of course, you'll be out of luck. But with that being said, I would say this is a, a great figure for me. I, I, I'm very happy to have it. I think the likeness to the show is really good. Um, if I could rate it, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, stay tuned for the pictures coming up next. And until then, well, you'll see.